everybody and here again well I may well have called this particular video vlogging without a safety net <laughs> so I found this um, booklet that I'll go this is just one of several um, notebooks and that that I've got and I thought oh, let's have a look through and see if there's any particular topics that might be in there um, but I just recorded one video and I thought oh well why not record another one I'm alone in the house it's gonna you know, be something to do type of thing and, and I thought and I've, I've written that sort of topic down blogging without a safety net I suppose it's that whole idea of just turning on the camera and talking okay yes that is one thing that does annoy me about certain people when they vlog they turn on the camera and haven't got anything to talk about mm, they tell them, oh, I need to make a vlog mm, now what should I talk about if you've got nothing to say don't say anything as I've said many times before but one topic that was in that particular book and so many of them now are out of date and you look at that and it does worry me so I don't think how many things I could actually do whether it be blog posts whether it be audio booze or whether it be videos or anything else like that as well I sort of spread my sort of social media stuff far and wide maybe don't make quite as many videos as I used to do but the topic I read a series of books and it was just coincidental but there was a, a, a sort of a theme that came out of them and one of the books was by uh, uh, Ian a guy called Ian Hunter who's a singer-songwriter in a band Mott the Hoople back in the early sort of 70s who had a big hit with a David Bowie song all the young dudes you may remember, will remember that and if you don't well don't worry about it, it was a long time ago probably weren't even born but him and then there was another couple of books as well and the thing the sort of thing that came out of them was the way that thing that life has changed access to people and the way that things are that is completely changed now and funnily enough just thought of it i've just watched the beatles anthology uh, dvd set which a friend of mine lent me i watched it on tv some time ago and I did actually do an audio boo about sort of initial impressions about how the effect they had on the world. But this was a slightly different thing. Is this more to do with access of people? Because all those books they were written in the 60s, 70s, and maybe even up into the 80s as well. It was the way that life was that you could approach people, you could arrange an interview with somebody, you could you might see someone in the street or whatever it was, and they were approachable. They didn't have the security and all that type of thing around them and life just seemed so much simpler and you were able to actually I say the access thing was there but it actually helped everybody I think because you think about it now I mean even watching that the Beatles uh, anthology they were sort of trapped in hotel rooms at that sort of time literally trapped in the hotel rooms they couldn't get out but a lot of that wasn't necessarily them that was people protecting them you know trying to protect their assets i suppose in some ways and um, but that's a pretty extreme example there weren't a band that came along as i said in that audio book they were so big and, and it happened so quickly it was a fairly new phenomenon even bigger than elvis in that respect i think um and there were four of them as well which made a bit of a difference i suppose apart from just the one um but even then you look at the access that people had they did wander about if they could when they they did do things you know people came up to approach them in the street etc and having actually met Sir Paul McCartney okay a few years ago now he is still the same now he lives not that far away from where, where I live and I know people who see him uh, around and he's a normal sort of person yet he's one of the most famous people in the world and he probably harks back to that I can't imagine many of the more modern stars should we say especially uh, certain people who may be uh, got ideas about their station to put it uh, one way um, they always got bodyguards they've always got people around it yes I know that there's a reason for that and it's partly because of all the cranks and everything that goes with it but it's that sort of a, a sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy that things you know they, they get worse because they get worse if you see what I mean and if you put a bodyguard in it attracts certain people yes life has moved on in lots of different ways but well, it's one of the things that just sort of really struck me in those particular books, videos, or whatever it was, about that sort of anything. It was like an age of innocence, uh, and maybe that's the problem. It was a, it was an age of innocence, and since then things have happened, uh, incidents have happened, which have made people have to change their life. The John Lennon situation, obviously, the murder of John Lennon had been a very, very big one, I suppose, and there's a very, probably answered my own question now. Um, and that's a very good example of why people do need some sort of security. But some think people think they need it, 
more than others and, and there you go maybe as I said maybe if you surround yourself and hide yourself away you don't you're not able to deal with the people or maybe that's another side of it that, that is one of the reasons that people have these people around them is because they can't handle the real life there's actually a very good section in the Beatles anthology where all the four Beatles went to meet Elvis at Graceland I believe it was in Memphis and they couldn't believe it that he was surrounded by all of these people who wouldn't let him do anything himself. He, you know, if he wanted to go to the toilet, someone went with him to make sure he was all right or something, and you know, put the seat up for him or something like that. <laughs> and who knows what else. He wasn't allowed to do anything. And even the Beatles, as I said, a very strange example, but even they were taken aback by that. And maybe that was the start of that type of thing. Um, they liked to do things for themselves. Maybe they were more down to earth, maybe they were, that was the way that they were brought up, I don't know, and that, maybe that's the difference now. Some people want to become celebrities, some people want to become stars, and because of that, they surround themselves with everything that goes with it. So, you know, I'm not <laughs> asking questions and answering them myself, but uh, just a point of view, as I said, this is vlogging without a safety net. So, if anyone's got any thoughts on that, please let me know, because I'm just sort of rambling, really. <laughs> But there you go, that's what happens when you turn on the camera. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.